Ladies and gentlemen, karibuni sana manzetu another edition of Urban Kale. I know it's been a while. Nini nini watu wameongea sana wakisema manze, you know. A uh, few guys have called me wakiniambia. Mulienda wapi? Eh? We are back right now manze. And today, and even the episodes that are going to be coming up manze, itapotu very inspirational. Tako tunaongea mambo serious kidogo. Just to address a couple of issues here and there. Alafu pia entertaining stuff eh. Yeah. So today I'm joined by the programs manager wa Kericho. I'm a Connect Youth Consortium Kericho. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Dan Rono himself. Karibu sana bana. Asante sana. Najua tuwezi salimiana because of uh, COVID nini nini. Tuneza so fanya na matse. Eh, yeah. na matse. Sawa okay. <laughs> sawa. Sawa karibu sana. Asante. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah. Mwepotea sana. Ah, uh, shugli hapa na pale. Shugli zimekuwa mingi. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Kidogo, yeah. tell us about yourself, uh, okay. what you do and what you're passionate about. Alafu, tuendele. Okay, uh, kama Olivia Sema, natambulika kama Dan Rono. Uh, nafanya kazi na vijana. Mm-hmm. Nafanya na shirika mbalo sio la kiserikali. Hey, wewe ni mtu wa Kiswahili, eh? Nakusikia. Kwa Kiingereza tunasema NGO, uh-huh. a local NGO, mm-hmm. inafahamika kama Connective Consortium. Mm-hmm. Tunafanya kazi na vijana ama tunashughulikia vijana, mm-hmm. ama we serve the young people. Mm-hmm. Uh, programs zetu sana sana ni maneno ya health, mm-hmm. watu kujua hali yao ya HIV. Mm-hmm. Um, kuna clinics pia kama kuna watu labda wame patikana kuna virusi vya HIV wanaweza ingewe wow. wana kwa enroll wow. wanapata treatment okay. uh, tuko na project ambayo inaitwa skills infusion skills infusion ni project ya kusaidia vijana ambao wametoka shule mm-hmm. let's say form 4 mm-hmm. uh, ama university na hujapata kazi no, you would want to learn an arts based skill oh. issues ya photography videography mm-hmm. music production oh. drama So for three months we engage young people to learn mm-hmm. a skill mm-hmm. so that and find a way if they can monetize their skill. Uh-huh. Just like that way we Alright. Yeah. So sana sana especially uh, so you, you work with guys that perhaps are transitioning, you know, yes. that, that are transitioning maybe from school to career to, to career path ama nini nini. Exactly. Uh, right. Kwa sababu <coughs> tunataka pia ku address issue ya idleness. Mm-hmm. Uh, ukiwa na too much idle time na una, una form definitely you'll end Manzi. up doing uh, yeah. bad stuff. Tunajua yeah. kwamba kuna concept ya ama issues ya teenage pregnancies mm-hmm. zimekuwa mob sana. Kwanza hii corona imefanya hey, mambo. Eh manzi statistics zenyewe tu zinaongea. Zinaongea. Mm. So tunataka ku keep a majama uh, okay. madem. Like they say you know um, the, an idol mind yeah, is the devil's workshop. workshop. Yeah. So you try to make young guys you know be involved yeah. uh, in so many things that can give them skills yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sawa sawa. You are also a mentor. I know you already is, is already defining the mentorship part mm-hmm. that you do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, beyond your organization as mm-hmm. Dan Ron we mm-hmm. mwenyewe, mm-hmm. you are a mentor to young guys. Mm-hmm. Tell us more about that kidogo. Yes, um nimefanya kwa muda mrefu kuwa mentor and basically a mentor ni mtu ambaye anasaidia watu wengine ku mm-hmm. kuona direction ambayo wana wanaweza chukua katika life. Mm-hmm. So Basically as a mentor my role is to listen to young people mm-hmm. um, offer counsel where mm-hmm. I can um, mm-hmm. uh, provide uh, uh, explore with them the mm-hmm. path that they would want to take mm-hmm. and uh, opportunities up and pale okay. a role model yes yeah all right yeah. sawa sawa So having worked with young people eh, I know you usually uh, do have programs mnafanyanga mpaka uko naro kwapi mm-hmm. nini 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 mm-hmm. one of the things i have struggled ni, when i started uh, this show inaitwa urban kale mm-hmm. most guys wamekuwa kiniambia eh hey, wewe unaleta gama dem sana hakuna uh-huh. maboy child manzi you uh-huh. know and uh, i have actually tried looking for young guys uh, young young gentlemen in the early 20s or mid 20s who are doing something about their lives you know making moves up and apartly mm-hmm. trying to you know just give, uh, help help those people around them uh, and even help themselves mm-hmm. but somehow manze kidogo sijawanget unapata tu maboy child in their mid 20s ama early 20s ni kutesa kutesa while the girl child unapata like the ladies that I've interviewed mm-hmm. some of them are already making moves they have registered organizations mm-hmm. they are trying to you know do fundraising for for various activities and stuff like that mm-hmm. and that now had me desiring to have a conversation around 
mm-hmm. you know boy child what mm-hmm. is happening to what is happening to the boy child especially on this side of, of the rift valley manze because sisi tunapatikana kericho and then that and, and the entire south rift mm-hmm. what has been your observation uh uh <clears throat> kusema kweli you have mm-hmm. noted well mm-hmm. and tanza kwanza na kusema in the narrative there are also quite a number of young people mm-hmm. young men mm-hmm. who are doing an amazing job okay uh lakini kwa pattern ndio imekuwa challenge kwa sababu maybe they are few in number mm-hmm. lakini kikuja boy child kidogo boy child uh, kuna shida kidogo we must admit that yeah. there's, a, there's a challenge eh. mm-hmm. na kwanza inaanza na role model unapata role model wa us men learn a lot from our fathers true that's true and it's very hard um, you know fathers play a critical role in providing direction for family mm-hmm. kutuonesha how we should go mm-hmm kidogo unapata wazae pale mzae tu kugeje yeah. au sisemi mzae wangu lakini nasema <laughs> picture ama narrative yenye yes. unaona kwa mtaa yes uh, wengi wako into alcoholism mhm uh, wakashindwa ku provide for their family yes uh, wengi wako naturally men wanataka sometimes quick fixes wanataka mm-hmm. kitu ya mm-hmm. pesa ya haraka mm-hmm. motivation yao pia ni ama ile resilience yao ku fight iko kidogo chini unapata jamaa ki akifutwa job sasa ni piti party tu sasa eh piti party kitambua mm-hmm. rigeni yo direction inachukua muda mm-hmm. so what happens uh, girl child ama the woman takes up the place haraka yes anachanganya alafu for. kidogo boy child self esteem pia eh yeah, contented manzi kabisa kabisa <laughs> that's why unaona hata squeeze jamaa kiachwa chiki bwana mm. anaamua ku kupiga yeah. mama kujiua mm it's very yeah. you know gender based violence eh yeah, yeah, kuna gender based violence na pia mm-hmm. suicides suicides yeah. yeah na issues ya mental health unapata my boy sometimes how do you to handle these issues mm-hmm. so as in answer na role models so mm-hmm. tunajipata like eh uh, your role modeling venye umesema mm-hmm. the moment hiyo haiko mm-hmm. then inakongana ripple effect in terms mm-hmm. of you know how the boy child ama mm-hmm. these young people that we need to mentor them mm-hmm. it has a ripple effect on them that can just lead them astray kabisa kabisa ni kweli mm-hmm. iko na ripple effect because unaona inatoka <coughs> from one generation to another mm-hmm. tukiangalia mm-hmm. three generations let's say grandfather wangu alikuwa mlevi sana for mm-hmm. example mm-hmm. alafu pate labda mzai wangu akwe pia mlevi mm-hmm. chances ya mimi kufuata the same trend iko high sana very high aya kitu kingine ni sana sana kwa challenge in land uh, mm-hmm. tuna value shamba sana mm-hmm. so na kuna hiki kitu kama boda boda ni kitu poa imepatia watu employment tangu kibaki afungue ime create mm-hmm. more jobs mm-hmm. lakini pia unapata kila boy anamaliza shule anataka landa uziwe abaiwe mm-hmm. abaiwe boda mm-hmm. ukienda hospitali kuna ward mzima kwa some hospitals yeah, watu wa boda kama and all that uh, mm-hmm. kwa sababu gani boda boda ni quick money mtu yes. anaje atapeleka mtu hapa hapa 500 ndio amepata ma 1000 mm-hmm. so the concept of patience pia ina kuwa ngumu kidogo kwa ina boy lack. child mm-hmm. yeah aya tuangalie mm-hmm. pia tu umeenda along the highway mm-hmm. umeenda all the way back to bomet mm-hmm. uh, kutoka chepseon all the way back to mm-hmm. bomet mm-hmm. uh, most of the people when you know the minji cabbage ni wa mama Uh, I even hear of stories that these women have wamenua plots zao wame realize wakika nyumbani wow. kuna vita na nini they have ended up buying uh, their own plots yeah. and just wanajipanga tu wanajipanga mm-hmm. madama wengi sisemi wote lakini ukiangalia vizuri wana hesabu magari wow yeah they they wow the sort of i'm not saying all of them mm-hmm. but quite a number of by and large that yeah. is a, that is a story yeah you especially know? for <clears throat> challenge in land What is the problem with our country man? What is the what is the problem? Ch- shida iko wapi? Challenge iko wapi? Si hizi sema ninajua shida za za wakali. I mean based on your based on your exp- if you when you want to explain yeah, because I'm explain, like what, what is wrong with us? Ah. Uh, Niweza sema kwanza labda hiyo nilianza tu na concept ya role model so mm-hmm. wenye tunaona. Okay. And lafu many times sisi tulikuwa na attachment to land so mm-hmm. exploring outside hustling outside kakwa kakwa changamoto but still there are quite a number of people who have done well mm-hmm. the after town most of course there are exceptions ex- 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 mm-hmm. uh, exceptional cases mm-hmm. successful businessmen mm-hmm. so concept ya role model kutoka inaweza sema wakati mwingine even probably ukienda jandoni mm-hmm. especially sometimes the traditional one mm-hmm. the, the message ama the narrative unapewa <laughs> pia ni 
mwanaume ni hivi mwanaume labda ni lazima ngurume kali watu lazima una ku engage with your wife or that so na patio narrative i hate to survive kwa 21st century it, it won't yeah. it won't come you, the woman is empowered mm-hmm. so kama hujajipanga mse uh, na kwa tu hard sasa <laughs> so yeah. basically this you know we are not doing enough to prepare a man for yeah. an empowered woman yes to work and coexist and partner together yeah yeah wow okay mm-hmm. uh, any other issue that you've, you've noticed alcoholism mm-hmm. hey watu wana watu wanapiga ile kitu sana sana <laughs> eh yeah. hata sometimes i go to the rehabilitation kuongelesha wase wenye kwa riabu mhm eh pombe bana alafu unajua if you uh, if you kill the head or if you destroy the head most likely direction in a in a in a in a, in a quite distorted mm-hmm. let me use a good example women are doing a really good, uh, a great job mm-hmm. they are single mothers who are doing a great job Kabisa, raising sons and all mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. but the problem now wana fanya their best but still our sons wanaona nani kama model eh kabit ni kweli so mm-hmm. kuna kuchanganyikiwa pia mm-hmm. unapata mm-hmm. kweli mama amefanya the best kweli kitu mse kufanya nini lakini hakuna afiga mwenye anaonesha yes. man this is the way to become a man yeah unapata maybe the the there's a feminine side the comforting the nini mm-hmm. but sometimes mm-hmm. kuna the hard part of life lazima u fight for something mm-hmm. uh, lazima u build yourself your mm-hmm. self esteem mm-hmm. to be a man so your gap here in akam as much as uh, kuna women empowerment and all that but mm-hmm. the men mm-hmm. in a, kuna kuna hiyo challenge hata <clears throat> for the sons who are raised by sometimes mm-hmm. i'm not saying all but you and your chunk the role model part mm-hmm. kuna okay yeah um on on party alcoholism here yeah. uh, you find even us young guys mm-hmm. you know tukisha pewa shamba na mzai eh uh, uh, the concept ya inheritance the uh, only thing we inherit from our parents by the ni shamba like uh, most definitely uh, unapata now we, we we want the quick quick money exactly. uh, because one unapata pia there is a challenge of parenting it is just my own observation uh, yeah, yeah. unapata we are not trained from a young age uh, really when you want to say to role modeling uh-huh. uh, our fathers perhaps wale were wazuri uh-huh. walikuwa job uh-huh. you know they were working somewhere yeah. so we stayed with our mothers all through yes they would come home on weekend uh-huh. and then our parents are also coming from a gen- um, their generation wana come uh-huh. from a time where <coughs> uh-huh. Eh, ili kuanga somo upate kazi mm-hmm. na we raise families and educate your children mm-hmm. so the concept of parenting is a bit flawed kidogo because yeah. for them wanajua tu so long as i'm paying school fees uh-huh. and um you know providing for them yeah. me i've done my part yeah. but when it comes to character when it comes mm-hmm. to now those uh, very uh, very It's important kind of skills, yes maybe. the soft k- skills yeah. and those values mm-hmm. unapata that is where uh, in a lack mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. so we we raise guys that mm-hmm wamezoya tu manze mm-hmm. if i want something mm-hmm. dad mm-hmm. mom mm-hmm. Yeah. dad mom mm-hmm. yeah. and then all of a sudden mzai ame retire eh uh-huh. uh, umekuwa mkubwa you are 18 umaliza campus uh-huh. and you can't say dad mom anymore yeah, exactly na kuna shamba hapo when because umezoya now the quick money then you say mm-hmm. sasa munipatie part yangu bas mm-hmm. and then the next thing piki piki the next thing yeah At, uh, Could that be an observation ama 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 yangu ni very simplistic <laughs> no, no, you are right actually because uh, I'm, i'm not a parent myself lakini uh, are you doing something the, about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah but when you talk about um, you see also kazi iko mm-hmm. lazima provide ye na yeah. watoto uh, parents really want their children to go to the best schools mm-hmm. They, they are and they are really putting forth their effort mm-hmm. but now sometimes in a letter a split in families because baba ko Nairobi mm-hmm. uh, mama labda mama ko employed pia na hustle so there's no time for mama family biashara mm-hmm. biashara mm-hmm. uh, kuna time ya hiyo kukumnyuna and all that yes. uh, one observation that i've made about indians and mm-hmm. um, really i really like about the uh, indian community. community and how they are entrepreneurial mm-hmm. one thing ukiona kwa nini their businesses are successful from one generation to another is Ah uh, wao hawangangani kupeleka watoto at boarding school mm-hmm. ama the best schools. Mm-hmm. Ah uh-uh. wao wana uh, unapata mtoto tu anaenda the normal day school mm-hmm. mchana wako na mzee kwa duka. That's so 
By the That's time mtoto amefika class 8 amejua biashara ile. Anaelewa. Wewe unaenda unasomea MBA <laughs> lakini hujui the practical aspects ya business. Hata kufungua biashara tu kad hauwezi. Hauwezi. But you have all the information and whatever whatever. Exactly. Lakini wewe unaona sasa mtoto hii ana ana pick your business aspects from the parents. Johnny, I'm glad you even in Kericho. Mm-hmm. Kericho day they go to these local schools. So That's if true. they are being mentored by their parents, Johnny wako na nini they live as a family also. Mm-hmm. Uh the your setup here it's it, it has its own benefits also. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So by the time mtu anamaliza uh, form 4 anafungua haja yake huko yes, kando. Yes. Na na just mommy. Eh yeah. so hapo unaona the model hapo uh, tumechapwa tena. It is an inverted pyramid in and yeah. it grow mm. like this like this for And you know also from <clears throat> research. <laughs> children especially young children all the way back at 12 years they easily believe what their parents tell them true they learn now from their parents once mm-hmm. when we get around teenage uh, from 13 to 19 all we tend to learn from our peers mm-hmm. but you see now they have set their foundations yeah, in terms of business mm-hmm. in terms of this while sisi bado tunafuata the model education pale ah kimbia shule nini nini yeah. and a boarding school mm-hmm. and nini So, so we end up spending a lot of money in boarding money, schools yes. and whatever yeah. and then watoto wamemaliza they yeah. can't do businesses there are no business. jobs yeah. now the only thing wanaangalia tu a frustration zina come in na so you lipata a ama Manzi, b plus ama b kabisa. or a c plus a good grade but um, yeah so our education pia imekuwa model towards um, being employed <laughs> as opposed to being uh, independent while parents would have played a role of uh, so no joy learning up, yes. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. because when some somebody said that um, learning is what remains when education is gone kabisa yeah whatever you remain with hiyo ndo sasa mafunzo mafunzo yeah. Yeah. yeah wow so uh, there is an element of you know culture peer that comes in that yes. culture yetu kidogo yeah. hasn't caught up with you know the modern economic trends that mm-hmm. we are supposed to be following or something like that yes okay yeah very interesting very interesting yeah. so um now going forward eh, because when you say a lot of our, our women right now they are mm-hmm. making moves they are, they are the landladies right mm-hmm. now in this town ukienda huko mashambani you know they are wana own mashamba they uh-huh. are doing a lot of dairy farming alafu mm-hmm. wanakuja bado kukimbiza maminji hapa yeah, njoko nini mananasi vitu enda hapa ngoi na road hapa yeah. you wouldn't see a man doing anything hapo yeah. watu ni kununua mahindi hapo kutoka wa mama mm-hmm. tununua mananasi kutoka wa, you know mm-hmm. but in real sense these this women are making a lot of money mm-hmm. but our men kazi mm-hmm. yetu tu ni piki piki peke yake that is all we know how what mm-hmm. to do mm-hmm. so um how do we then now begin to provide solutions uh-huh. what what is what is the path towards uh, you know reclaiming our path as as, as gentlemen in, in our community <coughs> Uh, you umesema vizuri because uh, it, it is easy sana ku complain na ku yeah. sema kwamba kuna mashida kwa community and all that yeah. lakini pia tunafaa kuwa solution na mm-hmm. nafikiri part of this solution ni kama venye tunaongea about this thing mm-hmm. uh, ningesema ya kwanza ni kuongea kukuwa na real conversations about, about mm-hmm. life so about, that we educate ourselves yeah mm-hmm. i remember i was talking to my anko um at mm-hmm. hospital so we, one day we got to chat mm-hmm. i can remember about stories like tamo how kalenje used to go and raid na mm-hmm. kuchukua ngombe mm-hmm. so there were three categories ama four categories kulikuwa na wale wa kwanza ambao walikuwa wanaenda ku survey kuangalia okay. kama we used to read mm-hmm. the, the masses and kisses mm-hmm. of course hiyo ni ya kitambo but yeah. there are some lessons we can take mm-hmm. so the surveyors used to go and angalia watu wamelala what are the trends fancy mm-hmm. kwaje mm-hmm. and then now there were the actual people who would come and do the reading mm-hmm. and then uh, the, sec- the third category of watu ni wenye walikuwa wanapeleka ngombe mm-hmm. lakini sasa the fourth category kulikuwa mm-hmm. na pia watu wengine wajanja mm-hmm. uh, kwa kikale wanasema kateri Okay. Yani, and sana sana walikuwa nasema wao walikuwa wazee kutoka Belgut. Okay. <laughs> so kazi yao haja uh, participate kwa raiding na nini lakini pale <clears throat> ngombe zimeletwa wanajificha somewhere kwa field. Mm-hmm. Then they create commotion wana shout nini nini. So hiyo confusion inakuja wao wanaenda na ngombe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So the lesson that I wanted to bring is uh, mm-hmm. so th- there used to be a somebody I can't recall his name Pia mwenye Uh, aku, he was very alikuwa na ujasiri sana mm-hmm. 
alikuwa frontline in fact yeye alikuwa anaacha nyumba apigane na wamasai ama kisiz mm-hmm. but now when this other people wakipeleka ngombe walikuwa na mark cows kumaki mm-hmm. kukata kidogo ngombe yeah. na unasema ni ngombe yangu mm-hmm. so by the time anafika home everybody ah, amemark ngombe. ngombe ana yake yeah ana yake <laughs> so it was uh, so the lessons that i picked from yeah. that was also tunafaa kuwa smart in the way we do things yeah una au kateri wao walikuwa smart in their way mm-hmm. ni kama brokers wale yeah. they never farm <laughs> uh, but they make more money than the farmers than everyone else, than everyone else. Mm-hmm. so in the same way i think when it comes to what men can do is um, one we need to have this conversation small mm-hmm. um the other thing ni we need to accept kwamba vitu zimepitwa na wakati yes. we in a 21st century yes the same things they say the a fool is on is a person who does the, the same, same things thing. and expects different results mm-hmm. so in this a man in this century should learn that uh, women are empowered it's a high time at us to engage in conversation mm-hmm. what am i bringing to the table and then it's also a, a we need to support say so yes. in mutual support mm-hmm. shared vision interdependence. and com- interdependence mm-hmm. yeah ile kitambo unajua mzee angenguruma na alikuwa anaheshimika juu yeye mzee wa boma ah sasa hii unanguruma unacho peke yake unacho hapo ngurume na njaa yako and then this young generation our generation now mm-hmm. to rise up at a sisi to, to try to hustle yeah. to to kwere was responsible mm-hmm. to to, to, to build a team here to peer mm-hmm. uh, our identity mm-hmm. um I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I, i read the good book so much okay and the one way of building our identity is knowing who we are in god mm-hmm. we are we were created in uh, god created us uniquely mm-hmm. in his own image and he gave it, gave us the power to make wealth exactly, to create wealth, to create wealth mm-hmm. authority mm-hmm. so our identity is ifai kutoka from kunguruma mm-hmm. ama identity yetu itoki from alcohol, mm-hmm. alcoholism alcoholism mm-hmm. identity yetu itoki by the number of girlfriends that you have or yeah. umehanya madem wangapi ndio you feel as a man how many know, baby mamas you have you have no hiyo imepitwa na wakati mm-hmm. our identity should first for me family I believe you should know yourself from you came from god mm-hmm. uko na purpose mm-hmm. uko na identity you have you, he has good plans for you mm-hmm. And then once you are secure in who you are now you a secure person can approach another secure person nice and say oh yeah mm-hmm. let's collaborate yeah uh, even if you atoki ata umtaspokubaliana na wewe still your identity uko is not sawa. in the sawa hey, i uko mean sawa. you didn't work out i'm yeah. i'm good you move on yeah because mm-hmm. ata saizi saizi tumia in terms of academy academia ni mzuri lakini sasa hii ukitaka kusema oh niko na masters hata yeye akona ama sijui nimesoma nini watu wangapi wako na degree mm, na hawana ati niko na ati niko na property hata yeye akona naye ama kuna potential ya yeah. kuna property kama yeah. Miles Mundro I like the way he says mm-hmm. anasemanga <coughs> now the the current woman unamwambia I'll protect you anakuambia I have a gun can protect me <laughs> yeah exactly kama unasema I'll bring the bacon anakuambia I own the pigs <laughs> 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 una leta nini una leta nini exactly so shared vision mm-hmm. shared values yeah. collaboration mm-hmm. interdependence kabisa yeah mm eh yeah. hey, nasikia tuchukue commercial break okay. logo manze this has been heavy eh <laughs> ni kwa mzito sana mm-hmm. when we come back mm-hmm. tunakuja sasa to we touch on a few more things alafu we wrap up eh mm-hmm. but eh, join us again after this commercial break Welcome back to the show Manze. This is Aban Kale and I'm your host Zion San and I'm hanging out Manze na 
Dan Rono from KYC and we're just talking about issues to do with mentorship and, 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 and boy child man especially on this part of the rift and uh, amazing amazing revelations that we're having on set and um Dan mm-hmm. to Kitoka you are just talking about you know some of the solutions that we can offer and you you, you are talking about um you know uh, having these conversations more mm-hmm. educating ourselves more mm-hmm. and i also think part of the problem is um we don't really participate in governance as much mm-hmm. we don't hold our leaders accountable mm-hmm. part of the problem is that um you know just wanting quick fix fixes mm-hmm. political season ikifika mavijana tuko pale manze na mapikipiki zetu nini ni wetu patie tu sisi tu tuende but we don't really push for true economic freedom mm-hmm. um first of all as parents and even as young people mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. I, i i feel like that is part of, of, of what is also hunting as young people mm-hmm. but maybe you can jump on that as you as you as you wrap up okay thank you zaun mesema kweli um kuna mtu alisema kwamba uh, many times tunasikia kwamba knowledge is power mm-hmm. but kuna mtu ali clarify akasema knowledge is not power mm-hmm. alisema applied knowledge is power, is power. Mm-hmm. so the knowledge That's that powerful. you apply <laughs> is power mm-hmm. because uh, it's tunapata information knowledge hapa na pale but kwa application ndio ndio difficulty mm-hmm. so talking about the social economical and political spaces when you mesema mm-hmm. uh, ni vizuri as young people we need to engage our leaders mm-hmm. and hold them accountable mm-hmm. we need to develop interest mm-hmm. ya kwamba tunataka change mm-hmm. sio the same way kila kitu inaendelea day in and day out mm-hmm. uh, ni sio kazi rahisi kwa sababu of course not everybody are interested na na change ama wakati mwingine change ikifika unapata yeah. eh, kwamba wewe ndio unaingia unako part of the problem yeah. kama ni corruption pia wewe mm-hmm. unako corrupt mm-hmm kama venye wasetu siku ya maumau independence mm-hmm. wale wenye wali fight for independence uh, si wenye wali wali, wali benefit, wali benefit. na pia the narrative ilikuwa we are fighting for our rights nini nini lakini sasa the same people wenye wali fight ndio wakakuja wakakuwa corrupt yeah. so it's a narrative yenye ina pass ama ni kitu inaendelea from generation to generation mm-hmm. but um, yeah the other thing is about empowerment mm-hmm. uh, kama money has money uh, kuna verse in Ecclesiastes talk about money and inasema money answers all things mm. so money also mm. we cannot say we don't need money we money do. money can <laughs> influence here Kabisa. so tunafaa kukua as men to kuwa hard workers mm-hmm. to see the raw job yote mm-hmm. job uh, to take advantage to be creative mm-hmm. uh, to learn pia to learn kwamba the same in terms of learning siongea about kwenda shule kusoma degree na nini mm-hmm. but kuna ile learning ya kwamba mm-hmm. trends zimekuwa zikiendelea hivi mm-hmm. na hazi work how can we innovate yeah. can we do things differently yeah. covid imetufunza kwamba working from home ni one aspect inawezekana in inawezekana <laughs> yeah. um una realize kwamba issue ya financial literacy you can yes. save you yes. can invest and you can even sell online you, know, you can sell know. online mm-hmm. kama hizo um So um those are some of the things I love to as I said to kwa easy conversation again and, and again, again and again yeah that's true yeah oh la musho ndio ni sawa about identity mm-hmm. to be a man when you nafikiria you don't need um to be a man you don't need sometimes not having money of course money in, in a player ni important inaongeza volume inaongeza <laughs> volume lakini tunafaa ku build identity to on things that really matter yeah that's true in terms of to jijue beyond hata kama una do you are still a man yeah you don't need you, you don't need to prove something to be a man exactly you're already a you, man you're already a man <laughs> so believe in yourself mm-hmm. uh you don't need to conquer women or to, to prove that you are a man you mm-hmm. don't need to be corrupt or mm-hmm. to show off things to be a man but mm-hmm. just know the way you are created by god that's your identity yes and uh, with that if you are solid and secure in that no matter the storms in life let's say how dem akuje akuache na because ameona wewe una still wewe unajijoy utafeel pain yes but unajoy wewe ni nani atrake ku deny ati utafeel vibaya ama nini eh lakini identity yako ni nani wewe ni nani yeah you're just enough yeah you're just enough the way you are yeah i think that is a very empowering 
revelation and, and discussion mm-hmm. because sasingine we peg a lot of you know our manhood in, yeah. in things in material, mm-hmm. things, material things forgetting that uh, character is key mm-hmm. values you know mm-hmm. and, and just godliness yeah. that is very important to just keep us grounded yeah. you know um on that note man mm-hmm. ah, i sana man i Arigo. think uh, because of time nini uh-huh. uh, maybe watch to save here uh, let's save up the rest of the information and the rest of the topics for the for the next uh, time so uh, but manzina appreciate sana coming on set okay. and accepting just to come and pour your wisdom and knowledge to, to the young people and to the society at large mm-hmm. mishukuru pia kwa kuni host uh, aban kale yes na ningependa kuambia wase watch wa watch kabisa na subscribe si ndio subscribe <laughs> Eh, eh, kuna ku like eh, kuna ku like kuna ku subscribe eh, na kuna ku share na kuna bell button <laughs> eh, <laughs> ring that bell button man every time we have an episode yeah unaipata kabisa na wanaweza toa comments zote wanaweza sema mlifanya show poa mm-hmm. yes. ama labda hii message eh, unpack zaidi eh kabisa you yeah. can share feedback guys yeah. unaweza share feedback get back to us yeah. eh alafu pia you know some guys might want to get in touch with you mm-hmm. they might want to follow you on social media and stuff like that where can guys find you apart from the physical office ya KYC oh, okay maybe kwa my personal uh, social media spaces niko kwa Facebook mi bado ni old school mm-hmm. siko TikTok okay au TikTok <laughs> <Facebook>. TikTok no <laughs> dance <laughs> IG niliingia juzi kuna siku hata nilikuwa na 12 followers oh okay ni <laughs> improve kidogo so uh, Daniel Rono kwa Daniel Rono one kwa Instagram mm-hmm. uh, unaweza nitumia email kwa rono daniel at gmail rono mm-hmm. ikona h r o n o h daniel at gmail dot com mm-hmm. facebook dan rono mm-hmm. utaona sura kama yangu ni mimi kabisa yeah um, yako yeah, kwa mutual friends ukiingia okay, pale okay, ukinitafu okay. ukinipata pia utapata tu kwa part of my friends ni daniel yeah. dan rono yeah mm. Okay niko kwa Twitter niko kwa LinkedIn lakini hey, okay. is sawa <laughs> uko kila mahali Sasa ni Facebook ndio niko more wake okay. na tunaweza converse more hapo All right yeah sawa sawa thank you so much manzi na appreciate sana thank you guys for watching thank you for tuning in like we said uh, manzi just just support us manzi bye bye by following our content follow us on facebook ya uh, aban kali uh, of course uh, youtube utapata hizi content kwa channel yangu zion sun zion alafu space alafu s a n eh uh, subscribe leave a comment share tutashukuru sana manzi until next time again asanteni sana may god bless you we out <laughs>